What's up guys? We're talking about the mouth mounts for the GoPro. So the first mouth mount is the MyGo mouth mount. Uh, I really like the, the overall design of this mount. It's got plastic that goes all the way through the bite guard. So it's very, very stable. Uh, I don't think any other mouth mount has this because they've patented the design. The, it's got a little breathing hole out the back so you don't breathe or inhale in any water. And then it's got a little hole there so you can attach a leash and not lose your GoPro. Only downside is probably that it's not as comfortable to hold in, in your mouth for long periods of time. Also, since it's a little more rigid design, uh, there's more of a chance of you hurting your mouth in the event of hitting the sand or the water uh, really hard. The second mouth mount I have is equally as good, just different pros, different cons for this one. This one's a little more flexible and squishy so you won't hurt your mouth as much hitting the sand or the water but it doesn't have plastic that runs through the bite guard, so it won't be as stable, but it's still just as good as it. It's got little breathing holes in the side. It doesn't have a leash attachment, but you could probably just throw one through one of these uh, holes here and it'll do just fine. All right, when you're preparing your mouth mount, make sure you put in your GoPro along with an anti-fog strip so fogging doesn't uh, occur inside the lens. That'll just ruin the video. And then when you once you uh, close the back door, go ahead and give it a nice little squeeze there so the whole uh, GoPro is enclosed and no water will leak or sand will get in. And then go ahead and lick the lens before salt water gets on there. Uh, that will repel the water and keep your footage from getting any water droplets and ruining your videos. Okay, so this is how it will look once you mount it in there. Uh, this is without the leash, I'll show you in a minute with the leash. So what I've done is, as you can see, it's a little slanted up, so whenever you, you have it in your mouth, it'll be pointed towards up. So that's because sometimes whenever you're bodyboarding, surfing, your face is down, so you're always looking up, so it's going to be slightly down, so now your footage will look more level than it actually would be if you put it on as just straight. Okay, so this is how it's going to look with the leash. The leash comes out the back so it won't get in the way of your footage. And then this leash you just slide over your bicep and if you've got a leash for your bodyboard, um, you just put it above that so the bodyboard leash is down below and you definitely won't be losing your GoPro. Alright, so tips when you're using it in the water, uh, I don't have it in my mouth the whole time when I'm paddling around or kicking because that'd get tiresome, I just lay it on my board and wait for the set to come. Whenever I wipe out, I like to grab the mouth mount out of my mouth at the very last second so I don't lose the GoPro also so I don't injure myself with having a plastic mouth mount in my mouth and breaking my teeth because that would be bad. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my video. Sorry it was kind of short. Uh, if I missed anything, go to drop a question in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer it. Uh, go ahead and give the video a like. Um, go to check out my recent edit, which will be linked here, my Instagram, and my website. Go ahead and give them all a check.